Sage, are you eating your diaper? Are you eating your diaper? <laughs> Don't worry guys, this is a clean one. <laughs> Hi. Yep, we're talking about cloth diapers. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you everything you need to know about how to cloth diaper for beginners as well as a super easy and effective wash routine because personally, washing was my most, like, was the scariest part about cloth diapering. I'm like, ew, how do you like, ew? So in this video, I'm going to just give you step by step how I cloth diaper my baby, how I wash, what products I use, everything. All right, so let's get started. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Janae and I have a beautiful baby Sage. I have a beautiful baby Sage. I have a beautiful baby named Sage. She's almost four months old. I started cloth diapering her about a month ago. And if you saw my other cloth diapering video, you will know that it did not go well and I was literally about to give up. I did give up. Like I had no, I'm like, whatever, I'm not going to cloth diaper anymore. No, nah, it was messy. It was not for me. Well, lo and behold, here we are a month and a half later and I cloth diaper successfully. This is how I cloth diaper now. So I have my little note notebook here because I don't want to miss anything. So you should take notes too. So first up, supplies and what you're going to need to cloth diaper your baby. Oh, also, let me preface, I do exclusively breastfeed her. So everything that I'm mentioning in here applies to breastfed only babies because I know once they start eating foods or I'm not sure if they're formula fed, if it's different or not, I personally don't know. But I know that when they do start eating foods, um, the wash routine will look a little bit different and I will probably update you guys when that happens, but she hasn't started eating yet. This is the way I do it. Again, these are just my recommendations. There's many different ways to do it. Let me just put a disclaimer out there. I'm not claiming that this is the best way to do it, but this is the way I do it. And this is the way that I find is really simple, easy, and productive. All right, so let's get started. The supplies that you will need. You will need pocket diapers with inserts. And then second up, you are going to need reusable wipes and wipe spray. Third, you are going to need a wet bag because this is going to be where you store your dirty used diapers before you wash them. Lastly, you're going to need a laundry detergent, a natural laundry detergent. There's a website that lists all of the different ones that are safe and not safe for cloth diapering. So I'll try to find that and link it in the description box below. Now, to get into specifics, the specific brands that I use that you can go out and buy yourself right now and start cloth diapering successfully. So first up is the pocket diapers and inserts. The ones I really like are by Rig and Gig Royal Fluff. They are so cute. They have so many different patterns. I really, really enjoy them. Um, but that's not the only reason I like them because a cute pattern without functionability is worth nothing. So it has both. The inserts are actually really, really absorbable. They're really high quality. And I actually bought a few cloth diapers and inserts from a few different companies just to see how they compare. And I can honestly say that these are the best. Um, they're just the best. They absorb the best, they hold the best. And yeah, so you don't want any leaks, then get these. These are the ones I really, really like from Rig and Gig. They have these coffee fiber ones and then they have these hemp and cotton ones, and then they have these cotton ones. As you can see, this one is bigger than this one. So the owner actually recommended that when using this one, it's just for like extra an extra absorbency layer. So this could go underneath the coffee fiber for like overnights or something. Or if you have a heavy wetter, you can layer up two of these, you can kind of do whatever you want. Um, but these are like the standard ones and I really like them. And just to compare, these are Wee, Wee Green Co. And I thought they were gonna be really absorbent since they seem nice and thick. So if you like compare them side by side, it would kind of seem like these ones are a tiny bit more fluffy, but these do not hold nearly as much as these do. And then I also have the Alva Baby ones. They're microfiber, so I don't really like them as much, 
but again, these ones absorb and hold way more than these or these do. So I definitely need to buy some more. These are the Grovia and the Charlie Banana Organic Reusable Wipes. This one's thinner, this is thicker. I use both. I have this matching one from Rig and Gig, so it matches the diaper, so. And then the detergent I use is seventh generation free and clear. I have a guest joining me for the rest of this video because she woke up from her nap. So here she is, little sagey girl. Now on to how I actually wash, how I cloth diaper during the day and wash the diapers. So first up, I just lay her down, just like a normal diaper. You unsnap it, you wipe it if it needs to be wiped. If she pooped, spray the spray, wipe it with a wipe. If it's just pee, I don't usually wipe her. Since this is inside, you're just going to take this out when you change it, whether it's pee or poop, and then just like lay it on top like that. And then I fold it up like that, toss it in the wet bag, zip up the wet bag, toss the wet bag to the side until the next diaper change. I think I have four wet bags, so usually when two are full, I'll do the wash. So like every third day, I'll do the wash. Yeah, and then how I do the wash, super simple. Um, since I already took everything apart when I was changing the diaper, all I have to do is unzip the wet bag, toss everything, empty it into the washer and wash the diapers. So before I toss everything in, I will start the water. I'll basically do like a cold, short, really short, cold wash with no detergent in it. And then once that cycle is done, I will add in the detergent and then do a hot water, um, regular heavy soiled wash. So now that that cold pre-wash is done, I'm going to come over here and turn it to warm, warm, and then come back over here and do super. I, sometimes I do 12, I do it a little shorter. Sometimes I do super, either one. And then I add my detergent. Why we're down here on the terms of a laundry, I did wanna give a quick mention to these True Earth Eco Strips that I've been using. They were kind enough to send me some and I've been trying them out and they actually work really well. It doesn't, my clothes don't stink. So yeah, you should definitely go check these out if you want to be more environmentally friendly with your laundry detergents. Um, I haven't used these for my cloth diapers because I'm not sure if they would work or not. Um, but I use them for my regular clothes and even my husband's stinky, dirty clothes, it works. You can leave them out in the sun to bleach, but I personally haven't done that yet because I haven't really had a problem with much staining. And then once that's done, I take everything out of the washer and chuck it all into the dryer and put it on medium low heat. But I don't put the wet bags in the dryer. I have been, but then I recently came across an article that said don't put the wet bags in the dryer because it can like mess them up. So now I've just been line drying those. But yeah, and then that's basically it. Why are you looking down? She always looks down. Look, Sage, look. No, okay. Well, she doesn't wanna look right now. Oh, you wanna go in your jolly jumper? You wanna go in your jolly jumper? I'm getting off topic here. What was I saying? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did find it helpful or enjoyable, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe and the bell down below. Leave your comments down below. And if you were like me and failed cloth diapering the first time, you should try it this way and you will probably be more successful hopefully, like I was. I really enjoy it now. Like it's something I actually look forward to doing every day. As weird as that sounds, I never thought I would. Like I would, I used to think like, oh, cloth diapering, like it's environmentally friendly and stuff, but like it's a hassle, like it's gonna be a hassle. And ironically, I don't feel like that. Like I just genuinely, like it's kind of like a hobby now, which is so weird. Don't even ask me, but like I really enjoy doing it. I don't know why, it's like something fun to do. So I will say cloth diapering probably isn't for you if you have a super busy schedule and you can't learn how to do it properly. Like it does take a little bit of extra time to stuff the diapers, I will say that, a disposable, you just whip out the package, 
put it on your baby and you're good to go and each time you just grab a diaper it's like five seconds but for these you have to take the time to wash them dry them and stuff them and that does take some extra time but give it a few days and you will get the hang of it because I, it just took me really a few days to get the hang of like washing drying stuffing stuffing is really the most tricky part I guess but once you do it a few times it becomes second nature and then you're just like all right this is normal so yeah bye